Hello friends and welcome to this video on authentic English. And in this video we are going to discuss Act 3 Scene 2 of The Tempest by William Shakespeare. Before that I'd like you to ask that if you've not subscribed to my channel yet you can do that right now because I'm going to post videos regularly on literature that might help you a lot. Drunk Stefano, Tranquilo and Caliban enter. So we see that the three uncivilized sort of people enter in this scene. Stefano, Tranquilo and Caliban. Caliban demands help from the other two to kill Prospero as he explains he is the rightful owner of the island. Now Caliban hates Prospero. Prospero has made Caliban a slave and therefore Caliban demands help from Stefano and Trinculo, okay, the two guys that he met when he was hiding. So Caliban demands help from the other two to kill Prospero as he explains he is the rightful owner of the island. Caliban says to Stefano and Trinculo that he is the rightful owner of the island and therefore he needs to kill Prospero, he needs to get rid of Prospero because Prospero is ruling over him as well as the island. Ariel listens to all of this. Now Ariel, you see that everywhere either Prospero or his agencies are keeping an eye on everything that's happening on the island. Caliban says they will burn Prospero's book and when Caliban is dead, Stefano can carry Miranda and she can be the queen of the island. So Caliban offers Miranda to Stefano in exchange to help him kill Prospero. You can see that Caliban is becoming very nasty. Caliban says that they will burn Prospero's book. Caliban understands that all the power that Prospero has comes through his books. And therefore Caliban says that they should first of all burn Prospero's books. And when Caliban is, oh, and sorry, when Prospero is dead, it's a misprint here. When Prospero is dead, Stefano can carry Miranda off and she can be the queen of the island. And he proposes to make Miranda the queen of the island. Ariel decides to tell all this to Prospero and when they begin to sing. Okay, so what happens is that Ariel decides to tell all this to Prospero. Of course, Ariel is a very obedient spirit and he follows Prospero a lot. So Ariel goes and tells, decides to tell all of this to Prospero and when they begin to sing, Ariel plays the tabor and pipe. Now all these drunk men begin to sing and Ariel scares them by playing the tabor and the pipe, which is a musical instrument. Okay, so Ariel is a showing his mischievous side. All these three people are kind of drunk and he is playing the tabor and the pipe. The men become scared of aerial sounds and Caliban assures that strange sounds are often heard on the island. So they kind of become scared of what Ariel does and then Caliban assures that strange sounds are often heard on the island. So this is a very mysterious island. Okay, the rightful owner of the island says that mysterious sounds are often heard on the island. Stefano believes this music establishes his success on this island. Now Stefano believes that this music is kind of congratulating him like he's the actual owner and he can rule over this island. Stefano foolishly believes that. Anyway, let's become uh, let's come to the analysis portion. Caliban understands this Prospero is powerful because of his books. Prospero may symbolize the colonial leaders who in an attempt to civilize the people on new lands actually enslaved them. So Caliban understands that Prospero's powers come from his books and that is why he proposes to burn his books. Prospero may symbolize the colonial leaders. Okay, so Prospero may symbolize all those colonial leaders. Okay, so all those people from the developed countries who went to other lands and exploited the people there in an attempt to civilize them. So there's a clash between civilization. There's a clash between civilization and, you know, wilderness. Caliban represents wilderness and Prospero re represents civilization. So there is a good clash going on between them. So you can read on this and you can Google this like the theme of clash of civilization and wilderness in the Tempest. If you have enough time, it's not very important. It's in fact not important at all. But if you have an idea about this, you're definitely going to say that I am a master of the Tempest. I have complete knowledge of the play. Caliban is an uh, idea that Stefano, whom he considers God, would be of much help either. So Caliban has the idea that Stefano is not going to be a good God either. However, he just wants to kill Prospero at the moment. So Caliban understands that by disposing of Prospero, he'll make Stefano the king of the island. So he's, you know, kind of exchanging one ruler for the other. But Prospero has made him so angry that Caliban only wants to just remove Prospero from the island. Plots of murder occur repeatedly in the play, highlighting the violence in the society. So you can see that Tempest has a lot of plot, pl lots of plots for murdering people. Okay, so it highlights the violence that was kind of common in that day's society. Okay, everybody is plotting to kill someone or the other. In that way, it becomes a play full of people who have kind of evil minds. 
Caliban describes his island beautifully in a poetical way that contrasts with his bloody plot to murder Prospero. So in this scene, he ha- he gives a poetic description of his island, which contrasts with the bloody plot to murder Prospero. Okay, so on the one hand, he makes a bloody plan to murder Prospero, and on the other, he describes his island beautifully. Okay, so this is the analysis. So Caliban can be called a mixture of, you know, goodness and evil in certain senses, and perhaps Prospero has made him. so frustrated that he has to attempt to kill him so this was the analysis and summary of act 3 scene 2 of the tempest by william shakespeare hope you like it thank you for watching guys